Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your Friday morning out with us. I'm Jenna Stauffer alongside Tom um, Oosterhout. So good, good to morning, be with sunshine. you on Friday morning. God, we're waking up. But we're, bro we're wide awake, aren't we? we yes, are wide yes. Awake because there is a lot going on, right? Oh, Tom? my God. <laughs> have we got a weekend, and I've had the busiest week ever, and everything's just popping. So <laughs> we love it. We love it this time of year. It's great when it's popping. And mm -hmm. Tom, one man who is popping is this guy right here, Edward Knight. Our cover Knight. boy, Ed Knight. You know, he turned 96 last week, and I'm so proud of him. And I was honored and privileged to be at his private birthday at Thompson Island this past weekend. And uh, I was the youngest one there. Was Edith Amsterdam at 88, and uh, Anne McKee at 90, and Jean Olson at 87. I was a child, but I was so honored mm -hmm. to be there. And I have to tell you, what a great group. We laughed till we hurt, and it was just such fun, such fun. Aww. It was a very special group. And these are some of the people who really made Key West. So uh, I, f I feel so honored to be in that lot. And uh, so, uh, Ed, happy birthday, my friend. Happy and, uh, 96. And you know, he wow. has invited me and quite a few others to his 100th birthday. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. And I have no <laughs> doubt we will make that. We will make that. So uh, God bless him. And Ed... Uh, have many, many more. That's right. Maybe he'll get it to 105. Now, is he still working at 96, Tom? At 96, he loves to talk to talk, and he loves the game. He's in. He loves to talk property and investment and how the economy's going. And uh, so, yes, he's very engaged, very smart. Ooh, he is smart, you know, and he's wow. seen it all. Mm -hmm. You know, he helped develop this whole island. And, uh, when did early he move on, here? Uh, he came here during World War II as a sailor, mm -hmm. met his wife Joan, they fell in love, and then they both became business partners, and they started the first Volkswagen business, and mm -hmm. after that they got into real estate and exploded and took over the real estate in the Florida wow. Keys. Wow. And uh, just such an amazing story. And uh, Joan died about 10 years ago of cancer, bless her heart. And, uh, but Ed's still going strong. Yeah, it sounds like he is going strong. And another person who's going strong is Rosie Ware. She was awarded the Humanitarian Yes, Award. I was so happy to be there this past weekend. Uh, at the Red Cross uh, Humanitarian of the Year Ball at the Beachside Resort. And, uh, you know, of all the people I've known over the years, Rosie is one of the ones I most admire because for years and years I've seen her out with the Mark House uh, clan and she's kind of made them her children mm -hmm. and she takes them to the theater she takes them to parades every event you'll see Rosie and the Markhouse kids and she's so beautiful for doing that and she's done it for years and years and God bless her they finally awarded and acknowledged and recognized <laughs> her for doing all that and uh, so she's humanitarian a year and I can't think of a more deserving humanitarian well, of the year. It sounds like it. Now, what does she have to do throughout her year of being uh, the humanitarian uh, Well, of the year? say I'm humanitarian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she just gets to enjoy mm -hmm. it, right? Enjoy mm -hmm. the title that she was given. Exactly, wow. exactly. And then we got also in uh, this week's color all kind of stuff that's been going on. And Jenna, there's just so, so many things. We have so the young, young Professionals Network you're involved with. It's it's in here this week. Yeah, and, yeah that was great. Uh, tell they, us about that. Well, uh, it's called the Young Professionals Network, like you just mentioned, YPN. And it's actually realtors that have put this together. Mm -hmm. they, they hosted this, but then they invited the public to join as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it's great that they're doing this. I think they'll meet once a month or something, and I'm mm -hmm. sure there's more information online if you have any questions about it or, or you want some more details. So. And you know, like you just mentioned, we have two kick-ass plays going on. The uh, Red Barn, we have Divine Sister, and uh, Six Dance Lessons in Six Weeks at the Waterfront. And both shows are just over the top great. I mean, I thoroughly, thoroughly, I, I laugh myself till I hurt with Divine Sister. <laughs> Brandy Roberts just takes it to another, oh my God, he'll make you pop a stitch you see <laughs> i've never seen anything so funny and that's then, a good uh, way to put it it's a little on the naughty side but it's funny and then uh, of course at the waterfront mm -hmm. we have dennis highland and joy hawkins and they do a tour de force performance of this most touching show i mean you'll laugh you'll cry it moves you 
what a this is great theater. This is what theater is all about. That is right. Don't and it's miss happening. it. I mean, this is the best theater you can imagine. So don't miss these shows. I mean, they deserve your attention and support. Absolutely. And we'll be talking more about everything that's going on in the Keys at the end of today's show. But first, we're going to take a quick break right now. And when I return, I'm going to show an interview that I did earlier in the week with the Florida Symphony. So stay with us. All right.